Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, it's going to be fairly simple and it's going to be based around how to add your very own help options or help tips, if you like, in the Skyrim menu. So let's load up the Creation Kit and get started. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I have loaded up my mod Corinthia Tire Reborn. If you don't know what that is and you want to find out some information on that, then you can check out the links in the description below. But basically it's a very large mod and it's going to require some sort of in-game guide. Now it's not going to be a full guide, there's going to be an external guide which is PDF. But for some of the most basic features that people just want a little more information on while they're in-game, they're going to want to use this help system. Now for those of you with small mods this is going to be especially nice to just add into the game so that people know a little bit more about certain things within your mod. Now to do this I'm going to go under miscellaneous and form list and in the filter I'm going to type in help. Now, as you can see, we've got a list of three. You can ignore the top one, which is Connect, and you've got PC and Xbox, funnily enough. Now, the Xbox one might be used if you're using an Xbox 360 controller or some other device other than the keyboard and mouse. And if you find that you've placed your message boxes, which I'll show you shortly, uh, if you've placed them into here and it's not showing up in the menu and you've got an Xbox 360 controller or something else plugged in, then you might find that you just need to add in here. So just go ahead and do that. might be safe just to add it into both anyway. So to have your own help options, you're going to do it in the shape of a menu. So as you can see, you've got all these menu options here from the game itself. And I've already gone ahead and created one for me. So CTR, help conjuration, give it a unique ID. Don't need to worry about icon, owner quest, and display time and auto display, you don't really want to use those at all. Message box, you want to have tick, this is very important. And then you've obviously got the title. Now for me, I've put CTR at the front. This is going to make it easy to find in the menu, but that's because I'm also going to have a fair number of help options in there as well. So I really want them in a, a nice long list together. Obviously, I've got my description here, and the one thing I'm going to note is if you need the player to be informed of a very specific button that they need to activate, so for me, it's just the activate button. In closed brackets, I've typed in activate. And if you need to know all of the commands for the game and how they need to be written in here, you can check them out, as you can see on screen now, over on the Creation Kit Wiki website. So once you've got your message sort of written out, your menu written out and sorted, you can go ahead and confirm that. And then you go under your form list again, double click on PC, and I'll do the same for Xbox, like I said, just to make sure. And be sure that these are somewhere where you can access them after you hit the object window. Now, if they do get hidden behind windows like this, the easiest solution is to hit save. And it won't save because there's dialogue options open, but what it will do is force them to the front. So I'm just going to go back under my messages. Now you can grab multiple if you want, hold down control, select them all. And you could drag and drop them in, but I'm just going to drag and drop this one in to both of these. And if I scroll down now, I'll see it's added them to the bottom. And you want to do that for all of your messages that you want in there, all of your help options. And confirm both of those. Now, one thing I am going to mention is if you don't want to be editing the form lists for the help option, then you could probably do a script where when the game loads up and first sorry, first initializes the script, you could have it so it adds certain messages into the form anyway. But I'm not going to be showing you that today. Now it should be as simple as that, so I'm going to go in game and show you my own help option in the menu system. So here I am on the balcony of Corinthia Tower, and if I just hit start, go to system, and under help, you can see that we've got our very own help option in here now for the conjuration altar, and if I click on that, Using the Conjuration Altar and the correct materials, you can summon powerful creatures which will aid you in battle. These creatures have no time limit to their conjuration, but they can be killed. To tell a creature to follow or wait, simply prompt them by hovering over them and pressing A. And as you can see, because I've got a 360 controller plugged in, it has changed the Activate button to be the A for the button on the controller itself. And like I say, if you're using keyboard and mouse, it should come up with E, I think it is and whatever else it might be for the input device that you've got in as long as Skyrim recognizes it. And that is really it for the help menus really.
And that's the end of this Creation Kit tutorial video, so I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. You can follow me on my social media. On Facebook is where I post most of my stuff, and if you want to try and catch my Twitch streams, which I do quite regularly now, you can go ahead and follow my Steam group, as I tend to post on there when I am streaming live. Also, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.